Hello everybody and welcome back to Vanilla Hills in City Skylines where today we are definitely going to push to getting this complete. To try to start in on the unlockables. So, I see something out of place that I did not fix. You need to be over. Okay, everything looks good. Let's make sure the services are good. We have medical, we have death, we have fire and police. So, trash. Yeah, trash is good. Okay, let's fill this in. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that started up here in just a moment. We'll actually extend all of the mass transit here in just a moment. Let's swap to drag and drop mode. Let's get all this in here and then we need to build this up because we're gonna have a commercial demand very soon with all these houses coming in. So, Let's get some commercial in here. Uh, the game audio is a little quieter. I did turn down the audio in general. I do process it in post. So, pause. Where? Okay, nowhere I can see. So, disasters. Earthquake? Yeah. Okay, so wherever this earthquake is, not going to be on top of the city. So we don't really care too much. So let's get back in here and get the parks in. Fin or finish getting the parks in, should I say. And get this zoned up. And that's off. Oh, I did notice that I think it's right here is off. I made it too big, so. Well, and whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Don't panic. It's, it's nighttime. Well, it's really hard to see. Okay, so we are getting that commercial in. Let's finish off this area. Can you stop shaking, please? You're messing up my placements. Uh, okay, wait for it to stop. Okay, and then place. Place. Please. And there we go. Okay, let's get the, this commercial in because they're wanting it pretty bad. Okay, we'll do it the standard. Oh, let's actually do it the easy way. Get that part and then just drag it across this entire section. Hmm. Just like that, and that will solve for most of the commercial. Let's start planning for the industrial with some offices, which is helping us build towards one of the unlockables, which is what we're going to focus on, hopefully, by the end of this episode. So, just across. And industry is an interesting thing in the, this day and age due to digital products that you can actually make a sellable good without any physical object being sold. Because if you look at, say, Steam, for example, they sell tons of goods, but none of it is tangible. It's all just data. Stuff that can be replicated in a blink of an eye for zero cost. So, it's kind of an interesting concept that offices can produce something like that. Now, the problem about that is, is that digital media usually requires expensive goods. Like, expensive physical goods to actually work. So... The issue is, is it creates these products for developed, I don't want to say nations, but places. And that can be kind of a problem. 
in that say you run out of market in those developed areas well then the offices won't do as good because you don't need any more of those products so and this is all watered up right yeah I got that ahead of time okay you on yeah the people around don't like the noise <laughs> Believe me, I don't blame you. Okay, let's just drag this up to here. Oh, don't worry, I'm going to be adding a couple stops. Okay, there we go. Now, do we need any others to be? No, because we have it all hooked up right there. Okay, so we just need to extend the tram, or place the tram stops. Oh, that one's already placed. Okay, well, that helps. This one up here needs to be placed, though. We need a stop over there and a stop over there. There we go. And this one? Yes, this one as well. Stop right there. And a stop right there. Okay, so the mass transit, I do believe, is good. Let's actually take a look at some of these stop areas. Not a lot of people. Oh gosh, that's that. What the visuals right there were terrible when you're trying to cross this. Oh, okay, and up here is good. What about these stations? We have a lot of people in these stations, but I don't know that. Seemed to clear up pretty quick. You are creating gaps. What's it called again? Something. It, it, it spaces out the trains. So do you pick up everyone else, or is that a lot of people that are just trying to transfer? That's a lot of people just trying to transfer. We do have another train coming in, though. So... Hmm, I really do need it on the other side. And I can't move them, though, is the problem. So if I go into this and then try to... See, I can't drag it to the other side, and that's so stupid. It... <clears throat> because that train needs to be... Because I need more of those trains going in there. That's just a fact. But at the same time... Because it's not getting all the people. But at the same time, I need you. Can we have... 10 vehicles? Because... They're not all getting serviced. Not as much backup up there, but in the major city areas, I would guess it's pretty bad. Yeah. Like right here. We do have it stopping on both sides, right? And on the way back. <gasps> there's no way back on this one. So they all... Right? Yeah, there's no way back. Okay. Well, that needs to be fixed. We need a stop right there. Right? Yeah. That's how it should be. Yep, that one's doing that. We have just trains upon trains upon trains waiting to get into this station. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. It's a train conga. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe... Having a stop that is actually off to the side somewhere here. Because this is getting bad. This is getting really bad. So. Hmm. But. How's up here doing? A lot of people wanting to head out that way. It's understandable. Oh no, that's to get deeper into there. Okay. 
Well, okay then. So right there is fine. It's just over here in this train conga. Well, it's getting kind of processed. There's a lot of people in there. Then again, we have a lot of trains waiting. How full are you? You have a lot of people. You are completely full. You don't have anyone, really? Hmm. I think we're having the same problem that we had with the... With the... Yeah, you just grabbed a bunch of people. Do you go forward, or are you going back out? Monorail line 5. Uh, it, actually, that makes it so that I can actually name these. So, this will be the cross line. Monorail cross line, maybe? Because it crosses the entire area. So that should have updated. That is a cross line. That is a cross line. That is a cross line. <laughs> That's a cross line. That is a monorail too. Okay, so most of them are cross lines. That's interesting. Now there are two trains in there now. That one going that way. So, where are, where are you guys going? Or what do you what trains do you need cuz it I don't know, you're never getting solved. Because the or are the trains going north south getting stalled up? How are, how is over here? We just have a lot of people wanting to go south. That's what it is. No one up here though, which is interesting. Hmm. We might do the idea of these cross lines on the back end as well, though. Hmm. Oh, okay, so this way's north. Shadows. Or at least in the northern hemisphere. If you're in the southern hemisphere, north is that way. <laughs> and if you're somewhere in between, well, it changes depending on what season it is. So I can't help you. Do we have a... How long have you been broken? Probably forever. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so... There's not an easy way to fix that. Because if we have an... An, an, espre an express that goes one way, it still has to come up the other way. So... And this is just starting to back up like crazy. So we do need to find a better solution for this. Hmm. Hmm. What can we do? Okay, so... The problem is, is that... There's just a lot of traffic on this train in general for some reason. Not necessarily this one, I don't think. No people on that one. No, we have a lot of people, but that just got solved. We have quite a few people up here as well. This line just might need a couple more trains in general. Okay, this is the... First of all... We'll do... Hmm... Rainbow, maybe? Roy B. Jiv? Okay. So this is red line. Line, not pine. Line. And let's up it by two cars. That should help. So how many stops are there actually on this? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So having eight trains... We'll have a little bit of backup, but it should be fine. 
Okay, now back to the matter at hand, because I did ignore this for a second. So, let's look at the stops, because this is the issue. Is that... We need... I almost think we need just a rail line that... Or we just need a second station, maybe. That might just be the thing. We just need a second station. And what's really funny is that I could actually throw a second station right next to it. If I so chose. Hmm. Let's move you for a second. Just over there. Let's move your buddy over here to just over there as well. Because there are just too many trains right there. Just too many. So. Uh, that's... Well, if I put it right there, that one can be preserved. Which I would like. Yeah, I know. You don't like the noise. Okay, and then we need to move the cross-line trains to this one, I do believe. In fact... I would almost say that we want a branch off from somewhere, like over here. But, first and foremost, we need to get this drawn out. Why are you going down? There's n absolutely no reason for you to be going down. Road lines. To right there, and can we attach? We cannot. Even if we curve this a little, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have a second station now. Can we get park in there? Yes, we can. Two little parks to try to make the area a little nicer. Now let us grab Geologists predict that a sinkhole could strike at any minute. Residents should take precautionary measures. Over here. Because that is one of the cross lines. That is not one of the cross lines. But I do believe there is still one more that goes up there. Oh, hello. Sinkhole. I didn't even check to see where that might have been produced. Okay, so we're good. But, because we really do need these, these trains to be elsewhere. Oh, but it... You stupid, stupid sinkhole. You're flooded? You're destroyed. What destroyed you? Did that earthquake really destroy you? Uh. Okay, redundancy. So as long as it doesn't hit the main pipe somewhere along here, it's okay. Okay, play again. Everybody good? Reconnected the water. Yeah, there it goes. It's like rain. Drop, 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 drop. Okay, there we go. All good. Okay, so here's the problem that... Oh, it goes into right there as well. And that's why the problem is exists of them backing up. It's trying to go into the same slot when it comes in. Okay, well... So we have no, nothing more that goes over to that one. So that is good. So this will be purely people trying to go north-south. We'll see if this backs up any. So now we see that this line is actually just so busy because line details that it just needs more vehicles in general so we're gonna bump it up to 10 I do believe because if we count it has one 
two, three, four, five, six. That's why it had six trains. That would make sense. But does it actually... No, that's just a short one. So the six is over here. Actually, I think that should be like a cross line. Tell the truth. Because that's a long way for it to go to finish. Although back here is not backing up, so I would say it's okay. So 10 is pretty much double, so there's going to be a, just a ton of trains all the time on it. But hopefully, that means... Basically, it should leave the station before the next one is out of the next station. And hopefully that means that we're going to take care of all these people. We might be able to reduce it later on, but we'll see about that. Okay, so how close are we? Is this all grown in? I think we actually lost people. And no, it's not. We need more commercial, which I was half anticipating. So let's get rid of the low density here, because this was going to get converted to high density, should it need be. I'll just put in high density right there. Wait, is this the normal? I think that's... the. Oh, but then these... Okay, so why does the low density look like the normal low density that everyone else has? Huh, that's weird. So we ha have absolutely no demand for industry, which makes sense because we just threw in a crap ton of it. Not even caring. But that should pull the commercial down so that the houses fill in. Do we, are we just having... Oh, let's have this on high speed, please, too. All these disasters slowing down the thing. And that is an issue. Why are you guys... Traffic lights, I forgot to... Figure out how this junction was going to go. Okay, you know what? No lights, I don't think, because it just needs to process. And this street is so short that it's kind of stopping them up every now and then. Ugh. We have a little bit of backup, too. I'm trying to see if that actually allows it to sort through. It looks like it is. Yeah, it's, it's fixing it, so. Oh. Oh. Did I not fix the entire way? Because these should not be lights. Stop sign. Actually, stop on that side. So apparently I did not do all of this. That, I would guess, is gonna kinda be busy. So, like that. But this ensures that all of our main streets are flowing as well as possible. So. And then that one just doesn't have one. Did I just not do this? Because I could have swore I went through the town and did this. Oh, that's a main street. Actually, by that point, we probably could say a stop sign right there. Okay, and then from there on, I did. You know what? Just no traffic light. That's fine. All that's good. All of that is good. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. So, how is the status of this? We have... A decent number of people. Not all of them got on. 
back here is no longer backing up. Thankfully. Although there are trains coming going in there quite often. And then I would guess that one's going the other way. Yep. Okay. Very good. So there are supposed to be 10 trains on this line. That, that one just left. And it still is not handling the traffic. That is actually quite amazing that there's that many people in this section alone to be able to overflow that train. So that's good to know. Good to know that one of these sections would require its own train line, essentially. Which makes me think for the next city that we'd have systems like this, but then we have actually a little gap in between that would have room for a rail, a monorail to go through. And that way these trains go out to maybe more of a central hub like I've done in the past. Oop, no, that's, I hit B. <laughs> we don't want to be. Why is that angled? Was that just not able to connect? We can back that off a little. Let's grab it. Yes, okay, slope too steep. Let's take a look at that. Oh, for that one to go up. You know what? I like the idea better that this attaches like that than it going up like that. Although we can put it at the 34, which is close enough to the 35, so I approve. Okay, let's, let's get the next section going because, ooh, that's all ragged because we do need more houses here. Like I said, I do want to try to get to the next one in this episode, although our population is actually fluctuating. We are losing just a ton of people at the moment. I don't know why. I think just old people, so... Because re remember, that was one of the risks of putting so much in at once is that we're going to get a lot of old people all at the same time and they're all going to die at the same time essentially so that might be what's happening right now with the population I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with that up there but putting in housing definitely and housing just went through the roof so yes dead people we need it's saying basically we need more citizens because we have citizens dropping everywhere. So, like the houses will become available after they die, but we don't have any workers is essentially a thing. So yes, a lot of people are getting old right at this point. So, and then right there, that's going to be a little wonky with how it looks. But for the most part, the zoning is pretty good with the ones that are broken. Okay, that was everything. I do believe, so. oh, well, uh, other than up here, I don't know what to do with up here. Like right here, we can do that, but right here, it breaks off. So maybe that, that, we'll put a two right there and go around the edge. Just like that. That's how we'll have it. High density all the way over. Low density all the way over. We can actually get all of it too. There we go. Now, let's make sure that the services actually do get all the way up here, which, as you see, they don't. We don't have death care up here, actually, which is one of the problems. That will complete the death care for up there. Hospitals. All but this little area up here. So, 
off to the side. Oh, oh no! That, that was the buzzer. So that is the sound of the end of the episode. So thank you guys for watching though. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like as it does help the channel and do subscribe if you're not already to catch the next episode as it comes out. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave those in the comment section below. Follow the links in the description if you wish to support the channel or catch me when I live stream. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>